We're on a very strict grocery budget and every couple weeks I have some things that are left on hand from prior shopping trips that I need to use before I shop for more items. So that's what we're doing this week. Just going to pick up a couple of things at the grocery store, then I'll show you what we're making with what we have on hand to maybe give you some dinner ideas. So let's head to the store and get started. Let's go ahead and do my regular shopping. My list is pretty small. I'm going to try to stay under $40 today, so let's see what we can get. So first thing I like to check on is the eggs and milk. So we're gonna get a dozen eggs for $1.31 today. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get two dozen today for that price. And they do have the organic milk for $3.79 today. And the um, regular milk is $3.26 for the 2%. So let me just see which one I wanna get today. Since I'm trying to stay on a strict budget today, I'm gonna to go ahead and just get the gallon of regular milk for 326, the 2% here. They do have great prices on the um, cage-free large brown eggs. They're 259 right now. And let's see, the free range are 339. So just depending on what you want. I don't see the price on the organic, but I'm sure it's a really good price too if the others are on sale. Butter's on sale today for 319, so I'll go ahead and get one pound here. So today we are gonna be getting a couple treats. We're gonna get the uh, Lunchables today. They're $3 each. They come with the juice, the cookie, and the little entree there. So we're gonna pick out a couple of these today. Next on my list is Nut Bars. These are $3.79 for a four count. We're just gonna get two boxes today. Actually, let's make that three boxes. We're gonna go ahead and get some snack cheeses, two for $2.99. We like these Gouda ones, but they do also have Habanero Jack. My favorite chips are here. I am definitely gonna get one bag for $1.99 today. And we'll get some pretzel thins today for $1.95. The Aldi savers today have um, papayas on sale and also some green bell peppers. These are 99 cents for three packs, so I'm definitely gonna get a three pack today. These red cherries are on sale for 98 cents a pound, and this is about a two pound package, so let's go ahead and get these today. Then I'll get a couple of pounds of bananas for 45 cents a pound. Here's everything that we're getting today and we spent $37.17. I had some leftover bananas from last week that were a little overripe so I made some chocolate chip banana bread, sliced it and froze it for breakfast on the go. Also I made a bunch of pancakes and waffles to also freeze and they're easy to pop in the microwave when needed. The first dinner I made was some chicken schnitzel with spatzel on the side. I've had this recipe in prior weeks so you can check that out over there. The next dinner that I made was a chicken pot pie soup and I just made this similar to the way that I make my chicken pot pie and instead of doing crust I just added some dried spatzel that I'd gotten from Aldi a couple weeks before when it was on sale. So first I just started by boiling some chicken and frozen veggies in water for about 12 minutes until the chicken was cooked through and then in a large pot I added some butter and sauteed some celery and some onions then garlic until everything was soft and translucent and fragrant then added some flour some salt pepper and some poultry seasoning. You can leave the salt out you definitely don't have to add that it's optional and the poultry seasoning though is one of the most important seasonings here. It really adds the flavor of the chicken pot pie. Then I added some milk, gave that a good stir. I like to slowly add it just so I can avoid having lumps in my soup. So you can do it as you like. You can use a whisk if you like, but for me, I just use a wooden spoon. It works just fine. After that, I added about two cups of water as well, but you could use chicken stock or chicken broth, veggie stock, veggie broth, whatever you have on hand will work totally fine for this recipe. I just recommend making sure that you stir as you go, adding a little bit at a time, just to make sure we avoid getting the lumps. Then we'll just bring that to a boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer for a few minutes, season to taste with more salt and pepper if you like. Then we'll just let that continue to simmer until it's thickened about five minutes or so. And once the chicken mixture is done boiling and it's all cooked through, you're going to add that in and add the broth that you literally just made by boiling the chicken and veggies together in the water. Don't let that water go to waste. Add it into your soup and then add your cooked noodles. I used spatzel, but you can use egg noodles or any noodles that you have on hand. It'll work perfectly. 
Then one day for lunch, I did make charcuterie. It's a great lunch or dinner option. You could just use whatever you have on hand. You don't have to shop for extra things. I rarely shop for charcuterie ingredients. I always just use what I have. So that's a little tip for you. This next dinner that I'm making is sweet and sour meatballs. And I'll have the full recipe for you as well. It's on my blog. But I do just add some seasonings, some panko, a little bit of Worcestershire and an egg. Get that all combined. I like to use a meat masher first and finish with a fork. Make sure it's all combined. There is garlic in there too. And we love garlic so it's a lot and then this time instead of pan frying I'm just going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and so that makes it much easier then I'll add the sauce into a separate pot and this is just ketchup soy sauce a little bit of vinegar you can use any vinegar that you have on hand and some brown sugar just give that a good mix and then I'm going to leave that on low to sort of simmer while everything else cooks then after that's finished cooking and the meatballs come out of the oven I'll fully cook through at 165 because this is turkey you can use beef if you like too that's totally fine then I'm just going to mix that up I'm going to recover this leave it on a low low simmer and just let that go until everything else is done probably about 20 minutes but up to 90 minutes you could actually put that in a crock pot too if you like if you're serving it for later super easy and so delicious this next dinner idea is called honey garlic chicken and it's made in the instant pot although you could make it on the stove top in a pan just combine in a bowl some honey, soy sauce, ketchup, minced garlic, oregano, and parsley and give that a mix until completely combined and set it aside. A couple of substitutions I recommend instead of ketchup, you can always use tomato paste and if you don't do soy sauce, you can do aminos instead. So that's totally up to you. Now in your instant pot, you're gonna set that to saute on medium, add some sesame oil, and then saute your chicken on one side for about three to four minutes until it gets a little bit browned, turn it over, and then you're gonna brown it again on the other side. And this only takes one or two minutes on that side. Then pour all of your sauce over it. You're gonna close the lid, seal it, and cook it on high pressure for about 15 minutes. Then let natural release for 10 minutes. After that, you're gonna open it up and see that your chicken is cooked through with a thermometer. It should read at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit in the thickest part of the chicken. If it's not fully cooked through, you can go ahead and pressure cook it again for another two to three minutes, and then it should be good to go after that. Then shred the chicken, mix it all together with your sauce. I like to serve this on top of rice with some cooked veggies, so good. I love this one. I hope these recipes gave you a few ideas for dinner for the coming weeks. And I will have a few more budget-friendly meal plans coming up shortly. So be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give me a little thumbs up if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.